I take it you guys are John Langston fans? Yes. That's that's what a coincidence because he's here. I think I'm you not, knew that. I'm not John Langston. <laughs> no. Well, welcome to our Bull Music Lounge. We are so excited that uh, John Langston is going to come in here and sing some songs for you before his sold out show at the Buckhead Theater tonight. Are you guys going to the show? Like, I couldn't even get tickets. So, uh, you know, it's only important people get to go or people who are quick on the ticket. Master, I guess is how they solo. But a uh, little backstory: John got his start on the Bulls Backyard Country. We're the first station to play his music for him. And uh, I'm going to talk to him about that when he comes in. But y'all give it up for John Langston. <laughs> Probably at a bar. It could be hitting my limit in a known dumb blind on a flooded rise field in a devil's sunrise. With a few good back home buddies, I ain't seen in a while. It could be standing deep, deep in my toes in the sand on a Carolina coast with a pole in my hand. A real near end, pop it off tonight. Yeah, I reckon there's a chance. The chances are I'm probably at a bar and drinking about you and drowning this heart like I got nothing left to lose. Could be anywhere under the sun. Over the moon, the chances are I'm probably at a bar. Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all how it happened now. We the seventh in a stretching at a July Braves game, watching those fireworks sound for the highway. When you kiss me, you knock me right out of the park. These days I'm just wondering where you are But man, I'm probably at a bar Drinking about you And driving this hard like I got nothing left to lose Could be anywhere right in the sun Over the moon, the chances are When you first heard your song on 94.9 The Bull? So, 
I'm driving uh, back to school um, and I went to school in North Carolina, so we didn't have 949 to pull up in North Carolina. So I had to download the app uh, to listen to it because I knew they were going to play it out. It was, I didn't know what part of the hour they were going to play it, so I'm listening to the whole thing. And they said my name on the radio, said, hey, next up we got John Langston with his song Forever Girl. And uh, that was like the coolest moment ever. It was so, it was, it, hearing my name being talked about on the radio, say, hey, here's a song. It's one of my coolest moments of my life, having a, you know, a song that I wrote by myself in college that, you know, that so many people were gravitating towards that, you know, it was a it was a feeling I will never forget hearing hearing that song on the on the backyard country. It was so cool. Very cool. It was awesome. And thank you for downloading the free iHeartRadio app. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All of you should do that as well. All of you. So, do, can you can you play Forever Girl, or is that not when we got worked up? Or? I mean, we can. Y'all want to hear? Y'all want to hear Forever Girl?
Thank you so much. Y'all sound so good. You guys did great. That's Love quite sing -along. Yeah. I know. I like that. So I know that you moved to Nashville, right? Sure did. And um, started doing a lot of songwriting. I did. So tell me about some of the artists who have been signed that you are writing songs with or have been recently. I know it's kind of, it's like all bubbling up for you guys right now. Well, when, I, when I moved to Nashville, I, I met uh, Red Akins and he's, for those of you who don't know, he has a that bajillion, <laughs> yeah, a bajillion number ones. I feel like if, if you hear something on the radio, it's most likely he's been a part of it in some way. But, uh, and he's Thomas Red's dad. And he's Thomas Red's dad. And he, he's a great mentor to me and uh, um, he's a great teacher. And so when I moved to town, he put me under his wing and, and taught me a lot about songwriting and stuff and uh um and he actually lived with him for like a year so i learned a whole lot a whole lot about um the business and what it means to be in nashville and i remember when i first met him he had me over to his house and me and him just had a beer and just talked for hours and at the end of when, when we got done talking he was like do you really want to do this is this because if you really want to do this i'm down to help you but it only if you're 100% certain to do this and put everything, it's gonna be the hardest thing you ever did, but you can be successful if you want to and I'll help you get there. And right when right when he said that, I knew it was it was gonna be a long road, but I was I was ready for it and uh, it's been lights out ever since, it's been fun. Well, it, it actually has paid off and you can't give all the details because right. we're live on Facebook, <laughs> but tell everybody what's about to happen to you. I'm about to sign a record deal. Yeah. Dream come true, man. I'm, I'm so thankful, you know, from having my start at, uh, on the Backyard Country on 94 on the Bull and hearing my song that to being on the stage in front of you to, right now to playing these songs to tonight we're playing a sold out show at the Buckhead yeah. Theater. Yeah, baby. Oh, gosh, man. I'm, I'm so excited and I'm so happy to be here and for the opportunity. And so, uh, yeah. I just saw my girlfriend Kristen's out here. I didn't even see you out there. Uh, hey! Kristen from Kristen. the morning show, the Bull Morning Show. What's up, Kristen? Hey! hey. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm just going to let you sing what you want if you got a couple of more yeah, in your back got pocket. A couple more. Yeah, uh, let's play the what you might hear on the radio sometime. Soon, maybe. I don't know. One day. We'll see. Well, yeah. So we just released a song. Um, it's our latest release. This one's called When It Comes to Loving You. Hope you like it. Mm -hmm. The taste of a cold beer at the work on a Friday. Start 
singing a song I believe in when it comes to loving you. Start singing a song I believe in when it comes to loving you. The angels are singing a song I believe in when it comes to loving you. Thank you all so much. Yeah. All right, one more big finale. Oh what you got? So. Right go wrong time, is that what you say? <laughs> yeah, she said, she, we, we, I ran into her in the elevator. She's like, hey, listen, <laughs> right go wrong time is my jam. <laughs> so we're going to play it. Is that cool? Yes. All right, all right. I wrote, I, I wrote this with a couple of my Georgia, Georgia buddies, Cole Taylor and Jordan Rager. I just want to give them a shout because it's all about songwriters and stuff. I just want to always give it up for my boys and let them know. I love playing the songs we write together. So this one's called Right Girl, Wrong Time. Hope you like it. She told with a draw Had me round to her
Thank you so much. And the bowl music ones. But we're going to give you guys a chance to get a picture with John and yeah, talk to him outside. So thank you, John, for stopping by. Thank you, darling. Appreciate Good it. Good luck. Thank you. Can't wait Super to come exciting. Out. We're really proud that you chose the bull to be your first stop. It's my first stop. Video yeah. tour. First stop. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Can we give everybody a big horns up? Horns up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what are, what are the directions? We want everybody to line up yeah, over back in this back door.